Last video, the Battle Droid Army took over the Clone Trooper defenses. The valley that they're in is now droid possessed. And the droids are rolling in their reinforcements in the form of B1s and AATs. Commander Gree and the 41st Elite Task Force is tasked with taking back the canyon. They're deploying with soldiers on the ground as well as TX-130Ts. They flank their old command posts from two different ends. But not only that, they've hustled out a mortar team on top of the cliff walls and surrounded it with some defenses. Of course, the droids know they did this, so they've sent a squad to try and take that out as well. Can the droids secure their victory on this canyon defense, or will the clones take it back? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below before we get into this thing. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe, baby. <sighs> Let's get into it. What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So, Thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship, and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alright boys, let's go ahead and press start here and see how the task force does in trying to reclaim their base. A huge droid bazooka shot right off the rip right there, and the clones respond with bazooka shots of their own, trying to annihilate that e-web turret, and I would say they were massively successful right there. Well done. The 41st Elite Corps begins to deploy their soldiers, getting into attack formation here and pushing on into the droid lines. This is a beautiful start to the assault right here. Even though they're clearly taking some heavy losses, they are absolutely nailing these droid defenses with explosive fire. Well done. And that mortar might be firing. Is this thing going? Can we, can we see some shots from this puppy? Uh, it seems to be taking aim. I'm not entirely sure what it's doing, but currently the troopers around it are trying to hold out the best they can against the droid onslaught right now. A couple losses for the clones, but nothing too staggering. Um, maybe that's one of the... Well, that might be a TX shot. I don't know if that mortar is firing yet or not. Hopefully it is, uh, because the clones down below are certainly going to need it. It seems like Commander Gree's soldiers over this way are doing a little bit better. There's Gree himself. And can I just say... Can I just say this once and for all? The 41st Elite Core Green Armor in Phase 1 is peak. It is peak Phase 1 Clone Trooper Armor. It does not get better than this. The color scheme is absolutely gorgeous. Fight me if you disagree, bro, because this is impeccable. And then, the 41st Elite Core, when they upgrade to Phase 2, what do they do? They choose gray gray i mean the gray looks okay but you go from the most beautiful deep green you've ever seen in your freaking life and you change it to gray unforgivable lucas films unforgivable what are you doing i mean to be fair they do have the kashyyyk core armor as well which is fire which is dope but your baseline standard trooper goes from this amazing, incredible, to gray? I can't. I cannot. Droid reinforcements still not making it to the front lines yet. Uh, that's definitely a bit of a yikes. Uh, actually, a few are firing in, and it looks like this AAT in particular is getting extremely close. We're going to have some rockets going into it, which is good for the clones. Rocket troopers, you got to be on top of that, because that thing could absolutely wreck your lines here, so be very careful. Oh, looks like the TX just absolutely whiffed its shot right there, and it's getting hammered by a lot of explosive fire. Not exactly very good, but it is what it is, dude. It is what it is. All right, come on, clones. Come on. We, we can do better than this. Another good shot into that... Ooh, TX is gone. TX is gone. AAT is still alive. It's probably close to death, though, because those bazooka shots are doing nice things. All right, the mortar up here is still alive. Is this thing firing at all, bro? Yes, it is. It is. It's got a kill. It's got one kill. Impressive. There's, there's a mortar hole right there. That's one of the kills they got. Okay, thank goodness that thing is actually firing, because if it wasn't, that would be so sad. Droids still surround it. 
Um, but they're having a little trouble penetrating the clone trooper lines here, clearly. Uh, so that mortar, for now, will stay alive. All right, that is definitely good for the clones. Though other areas of the battlefield, I cannot necessarily say, are going super duper well for the clone troopers. Did they take out the AAT? No, the AAT is still alive. I think it's slightly blocked by this canyon wall here, and so it's not really able to shoot the main group here. But for now, it's not too big a problem for the clones, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know. We'll, we'll just let that simmer. These TXs aren't coming forward, which is kind of surprising to me. I don't see why they're not. It really seems like they should be. Uh, Gree is up front and center here, pushing with the rest of the clone trooper lines right now. Wait, hold on. This is so cinematic, bro. Hold on. Hold the phone. This looks baller. All right, keep it going. Keep it going. I just, I love the green, man. It looks so good. So they are definitely destroying a lot of these droids. Now, I did run simulations before I added the droid reinforcements coming in because my initial idea was just for a baseline droid defense. However, without the droid reinforcements, these droids got crushed. Crushed. And so, the droid reinforcements are actually essential for a droid victory here. And luckily, they're finally starting to come in closer and closer now and will actually interact, potentially cutting off these clones over this way. It just took a while for them to get up here. And there we go. The first of the droid reinforcements do begin to fire into clone trooper lines. These guys are going to be super hard to hit because they blend in with the terrain so well. They might as well have some natural camouflage going on here. The clones respond very, very quickly with a ton of outgoing fire of their own, but the droids right now are definitely catching them a little bit by surprise. Perhaps the droids should have waited till their bulk reinforcements was up front, uh, but you know, at least they're getting involved in the battle finally. And these clones here might experience some serious losses going forward now. But the TX comes forward. We got the TX in the front lines now. Finally starts getting involved. Um, it is blocking the clones from firing into those droids. As long as it is actually effective here, it'll be okay. We do have two AATs over here, and then there should be one... Okay, there's two more. One flipped. The other's way back here. It might be in range. Oh, but it's blocked by this clone crate right there. So I don't know, uh, exactly what's going on. The tank battle in this has been exceptionally derpy, but I will say the full-scale droid and clone battling has been really, really baller. I have thoroughly enjoyed, uh, the sparring between the clones and the droids, and I gotta give it to the clones. Uh, they are doing quite well for themselves right now. Losses are increasing on this front over here. Grease troopers are trying to push in, uh, but clearly taking a few losses as the interior defenses for the droids are definitely a little bit superior to the exterior defenses. It's going to get tighter. It's going to be harder to hit them. Uh, there's still more E-Web turrets left alive. It, it could get pretty brutal. It looks like another TX over this way burst into flames. These clones have been taking a walloping, uh, but they at least killed the AAT, which is a pretty big kill for them right there. Um, and now they just really need to push forward and support their other clone trooper lines over that way. Although I can't blame them for being a little bit more skittish now, not wanting to fully commit to a frontal assault after the beating that they got from rockets from the AAT, from droid fire. It took a lot for them to just somewhat secure the exterior defensive line that the droids have here. And then going into the interior after that is definitely going to be more intimidating. Uh, but these clones over here, they definitely need help. They're going to need assistance in this assault. So we need to see that happening. AAT over there firing away. TX I'm assuming is firing as well. And the droid reinforcements are starting to just absolutely pound fire against the clones here. Although many of them hiding behind the different terrain over this way or hanging out way, way back here. There's a lot of reinforcements. They just need to actually commit and come forward. That seemed, whoa. One DC-15X shot right there just collided like eight droids doing damage to all of them. No kills, but that's still sick. How are we doing up here? Droids still just chilling in the back here as well. Looks like they might have gotten some more kills, but... Yeah, overall, they have not managed to silence that mortar position right there, uh, which is definitely a little bit tough. That mortar position... I mean, I don't even know if it's firing that much, so... Maybe it's not that big of a deal. But it's definitely taken out some of the droids. And so, just killing that and having a little peace of mind to not have a massive mortar up top shelling you, it might be worth it to just commit to the assault and take it out. That could be good. Lots of droid fire going out over this way against the clone troopers. Hoping to pick up a few more kills there, seeing if it's possible. 
Uh, the AATs and TXs are having the, the derpiest sparring battle of all time, I would say. That AAT just shot the wall, so clearly a very impressive droid commander inside there. Doing a great job. And then these clones have gone silent on their front. They could push in and assist. I think they're a little too scared too. Sadly. So it's all up to Grease Troopers over this way. And there is Commander Gree right now crawling on the ground trying to get back to cover after over committing and pushing maybe a little bit too far with his soldiers his soldiers behind him providing a little bit of cover fire for him but i'm not entirely sure if he is going to last very much longer because it looked like he took a lot of shots right there hopefully he does but he is certainly damaged he starts wielding his dc 17 the very beginning at a DC 15C. I don't know what it is with the commanders, but they're very weird with their weapons now. There was some update that made them very strange with their weapons. I don't know what it was, but it is bizarre. Look at this firing squad of clones right here, and they just have to fire into this wall of droids that continues to resupply the wall over and over again right there and just get walloped. All right, let's try and go into semi-normal speed. Uh, it depends how laggy it is, if we'll keep it this way, but it seems kind of okay for right now. This doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, this is this is manageable. This is manageable for sure. Uh, these droids right here continuing to round off fire into the clones. Let me know if you guys want this to be a trilogy, by the way. That's something uh, I thought about. I saw some comments of people basically saying like, hey, I want to see more of this map um, after the first initial huge trench defense that we did. Uh, and so seeing that makes me want to do maps more if people are excited about them. So, uh, you know, if you guys want one more episode of this uh, based on whatever outcome we get, I'd be more than happy to do it. TX-130T right there goes down. That's nice for the droids for sure. Uh, and their reinforcements are pushing a little bit heavier right now. The AATs are now uncontested, so they could start getting shots into the Clone Trooper Legions right there. Um, and for now, it seems like most of the interior droids are getting a, a brief break from too much of an assault right now. They just get to kind of vibe out. Did Gree end up going down over here? There's Gree. Gree goes down. At least we got to see him in some good combat during this because he looks so dope with his, like, strap across his chest oh it just looks fire all right aat maneuvering around this way could do some serious damage to the clone trooper lines tx bursting into flames coating the battlefield in fire absolutely baller and we are just in absolute slugfest mode right here these clones are not coming forward these clones are getting slugged by these guys and the mortar honestly does not seem to be all that helpful I'll be honest with you. It does not, it's, it's fired like a couple times. Why don't we time lapse the reinforcements and the clones over there, Slugfest, because I think this will be cool to see in time lapse. All right, well, that was a three-minute slugfest. Uh, pretty much no developments other than the clones over here getting destroyed by the droids. That doesn't mean the clones didn't do really good numbers on the droid reinforcements, though, so a lot of them lay dead. There is a section of clones over here that is virtually protected from the reinforcements, and they've pushed a tiny bit further in. These clones over here have come forward, though, which is good to see. They're finally getting involved a little bit more in the battlefield. Uh, not really to the fullest extent I'd like them to. They're still playing pretty passively. I think they could get more involved and really, really help out the clones over here who are getting destroyed by droid reinforcements. The clones up here are all Gucci. I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to put them on free roam mode. There you go. You guys can move however you like. Do whatever you want. Uh, I don't care. Go do your thing. You can go snipe on the cliff wall. Do whatever. Now, because I did that for the clones, I am going to reman an E-Web back here for the... Oh, that one's dead dead. All right, we'll try and reman this one, but it's going to be hard. Uh, and that one's already manned. All right. Oh, we're not going to be able to recrew that. Okay. Well, we tried to do the recrew rule, but it's not really going to work. So, Sag. It is what it is. Uh, can we retreat anyone for the droids? No, everyone's in an optimal position, honestly. The droids are doing great, so they're they're fine. The AAT is moving over this way. The clones, they should have more bazooka troopers, right? Yeah, they got one right there. Ooh. Careful, careful, boys. Is that their only bazooka trooper left? Did they lose all of the other ones? That's not good. 
Mmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, God. Let's go into normal speed here as this droid AAT comes into the flank of these clones and really hits them hard. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, Bazooka Trooper. Come on, buddy. He's healing right now. Oh, there's another one right there. Come on, buddy. Come on. No! Wow. Devastation. Devastation for these clones. My God. Half their force wiped out in an instant. More than half. That was like almost the entirety of their force wiped out so quickly right there. Oh, God. There's nothing they can do. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no. He's going to ram him. No! Oh! Wow, that's just, that's just cruelty right there. And the clones over this way are now getting approached by the remaining reinforcements, which honestly really isn't that many droids. There's like 30 reinforcements left as they took a lot of losses back here. Yellow are dead clones, or dead droids, red are dead clones. So the droids are taking a beating, as you can see. Um, but even still, it's just not enough. All right, you know what? You clones, you need to come to the edge. You need to come to the edge. Who cares about the droids in the forest anymore? Come to the edge and support support you you actually need to fire can we give it attack orders here attack ground orders right there it'll start shelling a little bit and actually doing its job all right these clones up here are at least distracting for the clones on the ground they're facing a lot of incoming droid fire hopefully they do a little something right here but it's not likely oh we're in hail mary time for the clones <laughs> i'm trying to support them the best i can but at the moment, it is looking really, really rough for them. It seems like the clones cannot catch a break in this canyon. I thought these guys were going to be the promised land who comes in, supports these guys in the flank, captures this, and then they get to defend. These guys wasted so much time sitting around doing nothing, as did the mortar up here. The mortar had three kills before I ordered it to attack ground in this area, which basically means it will shell around this area just incessantly. Um, until it runs out of ammo but absolute goofy goober mentality from the clones here they really did not perform super well during this battle and i think it's their fault I, I think it's their fault because they had the troopers to do this the clone troopers had 500 soldiers on the battlefield four tx-130s they had the troopers to do this they almost did it they were so close to taking the middleman um these guys didn't push in the reinforcements locked these guys up these guys proceeded to do nothing for 10 minutes and the mortar did absolutely nothing this oh and the droid that was up here killed the mortar wow um the clones could have easily won this the droids really they shouldn't have won this this was the clones to lose red or dead clones on the battlefield although there's a lot of deleted bodies because of explosions and tanks so it's not super accurate and yellow are the dead droids on the battlefield and again lots destroyed from explosions and tanks so not super accurate as you can see the droids lost a lot of troopers but the clones lost more simply because they were not able to do it wait the tx is still alive wait things are happening the tx finally decides to do its job that's the other thing. The TXs were absolute crap during this battle, man. They did next to nothing. We got two more clone troopers over this way, too, apparently. Maybe I preemptively called this thing. There's one right here who has two kills. This guy has none. TX coming in. It's got 37 kills now as it wipes out a lot of these droids, but it is shield destroyed, so it's very close to dying. It shoots itself and gets wedged. What an incredible series of events. My man thinks he's John Wick, and he's dead. He has exploded. All right, last two clones. Make it to a lat. Go. Make it to a lat. Go. Come on. I believe in you guys. I believe in you guys. Make it to a lat, and we will take you off and fly you like the Valkyries before you. Go. Yes. Good. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. There you go. There you go. Okay, slightly damaged. Can it still take off? Ah! Pull up, pull up, pull up. We're good. Heck yeah. All right, let's see if we can't take out some droids. You gotta be, you gotta be kind of careful. You can easily get killed. All right, all right. They're not firing at us yet, mainly because I don't think we did any damage to them. It is what it is. All right, we'll circle back. We've got the rockets loaded. 
Come on, baby. Let's go. Co-pilot's firing. Nice. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Oh, we're clipping into the walls. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. The droids aren't firing at us. Usually, if you're in a lat, they will fire at you. Uh, but it seems like they have no interest. Can we take out the AATs, do you think? We're still reloading the rockets, but we've almost got them in. Reload, reload, reload. There we go. Fire. Yes. Pull up. No. Oh, we clipped one. No, nope. pull up, pull up, pull up. Ah. <laughs> Hitboxes on this thing are apparently glitch, but... All right, there we go. We did some damage. Pull away with this thing. Get out of there. Run. Go tell them what happened here. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comment section below if you think uh, we should do one more episode on this map and what it should be, or if we uh, let this uh, fade away into the sunset. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.